Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We have a small hoard and a deep clean today. We're at a retirement community. Roaches. That's like eggs and live roaches. They're just nesting down there. Hey, good morning, guys. It's Nathan here, Spaulding Decon. We're back. We have a small hoard and a deep clean today. We're at a retirement community. Um, we're cleaning out a little bit. It shouldn't be too much. Should be done half a day. Super easy. So we're gonna work on that back patio. Get a dope ass time lapse footage of that for you. We're gonna get a couple items in the house. Start deep cleaning. Start hooking and jabbing and getting going. Pretty color on him. Yeah. Wipe those stuff down in the patio furniture, hit it with shockwave. Yeah. Make sure it's it's good. All right, Justin, so can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing and why? I'm shockwaving the chair. I'm cleaning it down for them, making sure it's all nice and clean. You may ask why I'm shockwaving a table right now. Maybe not, who knows? I would ask why somebody was shockwaving the table. But basically, this is the patio furniture we pulled off of the back porch. Um, just dusty. I mean, they didn't ask us to clean it, but that's just something, you know, we go the extra mile for the customer. I mean, why not? So, um, got to treat it like it's your grandma's house, you know? How would you want your grandmother to be treated if somebody was doing this service for them? You know? You got to leave things better than you found it. So, that's why we're going to... And it takes 30 seconds of my time to, to do this. It's not going to really add on much. So, it's not like it's a hard task. So... Take a beer for every Elvis memorabilia we find. Oh yeah, absolutely. You drink a beer for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have uh, one beer. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to be these two machine What's up, guys? All right, so we're moving to these bathrooms in here. We're gonna get some great action shots of these bathrooms. We have one that's covered in feces, and the other one is the cockroach bathroom. You'll see which one I'm talking about because the toilet is literally the uh, the nest for the cockroaches. So I'm about to hit them with part A and kill them all if there's anything in there. We're going to let those toilets soak, I'm gonna scrub it out, make it good. We're going to get those bathrooms deep clean, shining, smelling great, ready to take a nice poop in there. It'd be great. 
as you can see down there, those are just roaches. That's like all the roach poop and eggs and live roaches. They're just nesting down there. So what that is, is it's obvious dust and dirt and grime, but the brown that you're seeing is nicotine staining from cigarette smoke. As we're standing, obviously you guys, we don't have 40 ability yet, unfortunately, so you guys can't smell what I'm smelling, but homeowner is obviously a heavy smoker. So as we're wiping the walls and as we're wiping the mirrors and everything, the brown and the, the tarry stains are coming that are coming off is the nicotine on the walls. So. All right, everybody, as you can see, we've been following them for like days now, but we have a giant North American cockroach. As you can see, he's up there. He doesn't know we're here yet. We're trying to sneak up on him. Well, that's a big f I don't like cockroaches. So tune in as we try to kill him. You see, the biggest thing about him is he's a survivor. As you can see, all of his brethren were sucked up in the shop vac and they were all dead. He's the only one that lived. That's kind of scary. It means he has something that they don't. He's got superpowers or something. You ready? Ready. It's gonna get loud. We got him. He's trapped. We're gonna bring him back to the to the Spalding Decon Zoo and put him in a cage. Before we continue the video, we want to give a shout out to this week's sponsor, Keen. Keen provides access to vetted psychics and spiritual advisors who provide guidance and insight on life's challenges clarity in love, relationships, career, and more. Keen advisors are available 24-7. There's always someone online and you can easily schedule a call with an advisor. As a new Keen customer, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. Pricing then depends on which advisor you choose and the services are backed with a satisfaction guarantee. Keen is the most affordable way to meet new advisors. When you find the right advisor, developing an ongoing relationship leads to a number of benefits such as monthly intention setting, gaining clarity, and even chakra cleaning. I tried Keen and I was able to get guidance on some tough business decisions I had to make. The advisor really opened my eyes to other perspectives on my situation and I am thankful for the help that I received. Each week, Keen sends its users discounts on readings. This makes Keen one of the most affordable ways to receive multiple readings. If you are a current Keen user, check your email to see this week's discounts. Click the link in our video description to sign up for Keen now. All you need to do is click the link. Click Get Started, pick an advisor of your choice, enter your payment information, and you are on your way to receiving the guidance and support that you need. Big thank you again to Keen, and now back to our video. All right, so we're gonna soak this. We already hit it with our part A. We soaked it a little in part A to break some of the stuff up for the rest of it. I'm gonna use Simple Green, which is a good degreaser, to get some of the hardness off of it, soften it up a little more. Should be able to hit it with a scrub brush. It might be right up. 
you can already see it as I'm spraying. Mm -hmm. You can see it souping. So it's getting that up. It's looking better. It's looking like I can wipe 90% of it up. Should be good. There's be a couple hard spots we're gonna have to work out, but it's looking good so far. It's like a soup. Yeah, I can see the part that's not coming up. All right, tell us a little about like the plan. All right, so the plan is, I'm gonna scrub the absolute out of it with the Brillo pad. I will get this tub clean if it is the last act I ever do as a human being on this earth. So Nathan, uh, what happened here? All right, so that is the thing. So that's the contents of the roach nest that was in the drain. So as you use Part A, Part A is an oxidizer. It bubbles and it brings everything to the surface. So that's what is in the drain. So hopefully when I suck this out with a shot back and get the water going again, it should be good. They might have cleared the drain actually. Right, so we have a lot of Jameson bottles. We have more liquor bottles than I think I've ever seen in one sitting before. So, yep. As you can see, this is all categorized. Each one of them is its own box of specific liquor bottles. Like one's Jack, one's Fireball, one's Jameson. It's a nice mix. What's up, guys? Nathan here. We're still at this tiny hoard uh, deep clean here at the retirement community. We finished up our portion for the day. We have a we have the rest of our deep clean tomorrow. It's gonna to be all our detailed, our surface stuff, making it shine and nice and spiffy. So today we knocked out both those bathrooms. We knocked out the fan, we knocked out the back patio. We got it all done. So it's looking good. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.